time to shout out super duper loud. <gasps> hey, friends! Because we're all friends here. So on the count of three, I want to hear ya. Oh boy, I can't wait. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, friends! <gasps> Whoa, that was amazing! Oh, you know, I just love being here with you all. Yeah, when we're together, we get to listen to an amazing Bible story and we get to dance to some rock and music. <laughs> but before we do any of that, we get to have fun together. And I just love having fun. It's one of my favorite things to do in the whole wide world. <gasps> you a question. Do you like playing games? You do? Can you shout out some of your favorite games to play? Oh, yes! Yes! I love that one, too! Oh, what about, like, like I Spy or Hide and Seek? And one of my all-time favorite games is Simon Says. Hey! What if we played Simon Says together right now. Do you want to play Simon Says together? Yes, okay, great. All right, so for this game, you remember how it works. If Simon says something, you do it. But if Simon doesn't say to do something, you don't do it, okay? <laughs> You're gonna have to listen really hard. So can you turn on your listening ears? Are your listening ears ready to go? Mine too. All righty, let's see. Let's start playing Simon Says. Here we go. Simon Says, put your hands in the air. Simon Says, put your hands on the ground. Simon Says, put your hands on the air. Now wave them around like you just don't care. Oh, Simon didn't say. <laughs> okay, this game is tricky, but you're doing so great. Let's keep going. Simon says, clap three times. <gasps> Simon says, stand on one foot. All right, now hop on the other foot. <gasps> oh, Simon didn't say, Simon didn't say. <laughs> Did you get it? <gasps> yes, okay, let's keep going. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Simon says, make a silly face. <laughs> Simon says, wiggle! Wiggle, 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 and stop wiggling! No, no, Simon didn't say to stop wiggling! We have to keep wiggling! Wiggle, wiggle, oh, it's so fun to wiggle! And Simon says, stop wiggling! <laughs> Loved playing Simon Says with you. And now it is time for an amazing Bible story just for you. So take a seat and get all comfy. And let me see your hands. And open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. <laughs> Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey everybody, my name is Jana and I am so excited to tell you something amazing that I read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? Yeah, you do. It's the Bible. And the Bible's important because it helps us know how much God loves us. So I read in the Bible about a guy named Simon. Say that name with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Simon! Great job. So Simon was a fisherman. Fishing was his job and it was really, really important to him. So he took really good care of his boat and his nets because without them, he couldn't fish. They were very important to him. Well, one time Simon went fishing. He picked up his net. Okay, let's pretend to pick up our nets just like Simon. Pick them up, hold them up. 
There you go, hold it really tight. Then Simon threw his net into the water. Okay, let's throw our nets into the water too. Great job. And now we have to wait. And we wait, and we wait some more. <laughs> and then when it was time, Simon started to pull in his net. Whoa, that net looks really heavy. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of fish in there. Oh, I can't wait to, wait a minute. What is that? Is, is that a boot? Ooh, we're supposed to be catching fish, not smelly boots. Okay, we gotta try this again. Simon threw his net in again, and he waited, and he waited some more. And then it was time to start pulling it in again. Pull your nets in too. Here it comes, almost there. Look at all the, oh, wait, is that, yuck. Oh no, Simon worked all night and he didn't catch a single fish. Well, the next morning, Jesus came by and he got in Simon's boat so that he could teach all the people who came to see him. And after Jesus finished teaching, he asked Simon to go out into the deeper water and throw his nets in again. And Simon was so confused. He told Jesus he had been trying all night and hadn't caught anything. But since it was Jesus asking him to throw the nets, he decided to do it. And you know what? This time, he got fish! And not just a little bit of fish. There were so many fish, they couldn't even fit in his boat. Whoa, there were so many fish and they just kept coming and coming and filling the boat. After Simon caught all those fish, Jesus told him something amazing. Jesus told Simon to leave his boat and his nets and to come follow him. But remember, that boat and those nets they were very important to Simon. So do you think Simon listened to Jesus and left the boat and the nets? <laughs> yes, Simon left everything. He left his boat, his nets, everything, and he followed Jesus. He wanted to do the things that Jesus did. Simon wanted to be like Jesus. So Jesus was kind and he helped people. And Simon was right there with Jesus, being kind and helping people too. And Jesus would rest and he would talk to God and Simon would rest and he would talk to God too. And we can be more like Jesus, just like Simon was. We can be kind to our friends and share our toys. That's being like Jesus. Or we can read our Bibles. That's being like Jesus. Oh, or we can help our parents by being good listeners or helping clean the dishes after dinner. That's being like Jesus too. When we are kind and loving to other people, we start to be more like Jesus. And I don't know about you, but I definitely want to be like Jesus. So let's pray and thank God for helping us be more like Jesus. If you're ready to pray, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, and thank you for helping us be more like him. We love you, God. Amen. That was amazing. And I'm going to remember it all week long because I want to be like Jesus. I had so much fun hanging out with you today. I'll see you later, friends. Bye. Wow, that was an amazing Bible story. You know, I loved listening to it with you. And now it is time for the moment we've all been waiting for. We get to sing and we get to dance to one of my favorite songs. And I have a feeling you'll love it too. So get up on your feet, stand up, stand up, stand up, and let's dance. Bye friends.
No problem. 